Hi everyone, this is Aryan Verma. Welcome to our channel. So in this video, we are going to cover about the EPFL Summer Internship Program. Now before moving ahead, I would like to tell you that this would be a series of 40 consecutive international internship programs located in the countries like USA, UK, Finland, Japan, China, Austria, Australia and many others. So stay tuned if you or your friends have not subscribed to this channel, do consider subscribing because it gives me support as well for making these type of videos. Now let's skip to the video but before that the people who are applying for the very first time to any international internship programs there are many n number of documents that you need to prepare for this internship. So I will be quoting those all documents in this video and at the end of this video I will be giving you some bonus tips for preparation of these documents. So stay tuned. Now let's discuss what is summer at EPFL. So summer at EPFL is an international internship program offered by the EPFL that is Ecole Polytechnique Federale de Lausanne which is located in the Switzerland. It's a very prestigious and high ranked research university which is located on the banks of the river Geneva and it offers various kind of research units over there. Now you would be placed for a very sub task in a un research unit on which they are working on. Now you'd be thinking that there are diverse skills what are needed to be in the research unit right but they are also having such section of the diverse skills on which you can quote yourself to as I would be telling in this video while application procedure. So let's skip to what are the deadlines and now the applications are open so you can also start preparing for applying to this internship now itself. Again I am saying if you are not subscribed to this series do subscribe all the internships are completely funded do subscribe send to your friends and help me support me. Now coming over to the decision part the decision of this internship or you can say the outcomes of this internship would be known to the applicants by 25th of January of the following year on which the applicants have applied to this internship program. Talking about the eligibility of this program so the students who are currently enrolled Again, I'm saying currently enrolled, not just completed bachelor's, master's students in computer science, computer engineering, telecommunication or electrical engineering are eligible for applying to this internship. The students can be in BTEC, that is Bachelor of Technology, BSc, Bachelor of Science, MSc, Master of Science or Master of Technology, that is MTech course or they can be in any equivalent programs and sorry for the PhD candidates, they cannot apply to this internship programs. Also it is mentioned that at the time of application you must be in the second year or equivalent for your course. Now coming over to the work nature of the internship program, again you will be collaborating with the very senior research scientists who are pioneer in their field. You will be having a hands on opportunity to work with them in their research units on a smaller problem of what they are trying to solve. Now coming over to the time duration of this internship program. So basically they refer as, they means the site refers as two to three months but they also say that it has to be individually agreed with the hosting research unit. So you can individually agree and the months you can work in between are May to September. Again saying May to September, two to three months individually agreed with the research units and you can work with them during this time duration. Okay, so the most interesting part, the stipend. What would be the stipend of this research internships? You would be thinking that what would be the support that I would be given? What would be the stipend? What, what, what about the accommodation? What the flights? Yes, I'm going to tell them all. Okay, the stipend for the internship would be 1600 Swiss francs per month for the sustenance allowance. And apart from that, the internship is also covering your traveling costs, which can be a low cost economy airfare or a low cost second class train ticket for traveling up to the EPFL buildings. Also you are the charge of the accommodation but still whenever you will be getting the official offer letter from them you will also getting the locations to where you can look up your accommodation up to. They will be helping you to get the accommodation too. Uh, after this there would be a bonus part but yes how to apply the most favorite part of the interns that how to apply. So you can go onto the link which is given in the description below then you have to select any of the three scientific research domains which are available on the site after that you have to prepare some of the documents which are the cv the university transcripts and the letter of motivation now you would be thinking that what is the curriculum vitae what are the university transcripts or the letter of motivation okay so the curriculum uh, vitae you can think of as a formal description of whatever you have studied whatever you have achieved and whatever the skills you are having right up till now 
and also the letter of motivation states that why you are interested to go into this research internship program what are your future endeavors what are you going to get from this internship apart from that what is special in you that the authorities should select you so the letter of motivation is a very very important part of this application procedure apart from that university transcripts that would be detailing that how you performed in your academic journey while you were pursuing your university so now as a bonus point i would like to tell you that we are a group of people who have already cleared such international internships such as me i have cleared the dssg data science for social good fellowship at university of warwick in uk and my second international intern was with the saint vessels foundation my friends who are collaborating with us have also cleared very prestigious internship programs such as dart such as mitex such as alto university program who are helping you write your letter of motivation your cvs your statement of purposes so if you are interested and if you are a newbie to this domain of applying to foreign internship programs do not miss your chance because it's once in lifetime do not miss your chance to apply to this internship programs and when you apply try to stand apart from the crowd so that the chances of conversion of that internship into a successful attempt are augmented so now about the services you can always explore on the link in the description below and also on the screen right now do consider liking and subscribing to this channel if you like this video yes share to your friends and also keep updated we'll be coming up with more such videos of foreign internship programs thank you